so guys it's really simple to do so this is our default cube select the cube press x then delete shift plus a mesh let's add a uv sphere this will be our light source so tap to edit mode press a to select everything s to scale let's move it up press numpad 0 for camera view then view navigation work navigation let's set up the camera now select the sphere then go to material tab then click on this plus icon then new to add a new material let's name it glare then scroll down change the emission color to white or whatever color you want for your light source let's go to render preview let's increase the emission strength to like 50 or more higher value it's up to you then go to render properties then check the bloom let's click on the arrow then increase the intensity a little bit so we are done with our light source now go to composition then click on the use nodes so these are our default nodes let's give it some space now to see the preview of the output Control shift left click on the render layer by using viewer node we can see the preview at the background so for no preview click on this little button so we have our preview now go to add then search for glare now drag the glare and place it middle so you already have our default glare now we can refine it by changing the settings our first setting is iteration for iteration the minimum value is 2 and the maximum value is 5 so let's change it to 2 and see that what will we get so this is the output for value 2 and for 5 seems like the strict length changed now the color mode if we change it to 0 seems like a little bit sharp now let's make it colorful 0 0.75 see and more 1 the maximum value so done with the color mode now the third value is mix which represent the combination of glare and the original glow let's change it to the minimum value minus 1 so we have our original and the maximum value 1 our original is totally gone so let's give it to 50 50 that means 0 now the threshold threshold depends totally on the emission strength of our material so let's go to like 50 so this is what we got let's go far away from our value so let's go to 75 see we have our original so it totally depends on the value of our emission strength now the streaks as the name suggests number of streaks same goes for the angle offset let's change it to 45 66 as you can see now the last one is fade we can use fade to animate the glow let's change it to 0 seems like the minimum value is 0 0.75 now let's animate it like change it to 1 maximum below see 0 0.75 0 0.9 0 0.85 so if you want to animate the glare our best option is threshold and the fade and how we can use it as you can see this is our timeline you can just go to the threshold and right click insert keyframe same goes for the fade right click insert keyframe so now we can use different combination of glare setting to get our desired result but there is a very serious problem let me show you the problem and the solution let's go to layout shift plus a mesh let's add another uv sphere let's give it a material red material just to show you it doesn't matter 50 now let's go to composition tab again let's click on the render as you can see here this object also have glare effect on it 
so suppose we have multiple light source and we want to use the glare effect only on a specific object suppose this one so how can we avoid this problem it's really simple go to here right click new collection this is our white sphere let's name it white drag it to the new collection so we want only this collection to have glare effect for that go to this button click then new to make a new render layer single click let's name it glare layer just for identification if we click on this image icon as you can see that we have two render layer here one is our new glare layer and another is the default one view layer let's select the view layer and name it default just for identification now when the default selected uncheck the collection 2 now click on this button again and select glare layer and uncheck the collection 1 as you can see that our render preview is gone let's click on the render button again so it's not showing the white one anymore because we have render layer default selected here let's click on add then search for render layer let's add another render layer and select the glare layer now click on this button again to enable the preview let's add glare to our glare render layer let's disconnect it image to our glare this is our glare so how can we combine these two render layer that's also really simple click on this add then search for alpha over let's disconnect it connect the default render layer output to the alpha over image and the glare layer glare output to the alpha over image 2 disconnect connect so there is nothing here so for that go to render layer then under film click on this transparent icon so our connection is done let's take alpha over output to the composition image composition is our main output and let's try to render it so guys as you can see this is our render preview our white light source have glare effect but the blue one don't have glare effect so as far as my brain goes that was the only problem i faced when using this so this is the solution you just need to make a new render layer and combine them and only apply the effect on the specific render layer and each render layer should be divided by the collection as you can see collection 1 collection 2 so thank you guys see you on the next tutorial